All right. Let's try to do that again. So the distributive property. The distributive property ties addition and multiplication. For any numbers A, B, and C, stop clicking your pen. I don't know why you have a pen out right now anyway. A times the quantity B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. So to look that deeper, we have A that's going to be distributed. I was just telling my students that I was distributing papers. They were in a stack in my hands, but I distributed them out for everyone. This A in this situation needs to be distributed to both of the B and the C. Whenever we don't have a symbol here, what symbol is inferred? Multiplication. multiplication. Thank you for not saying timesing. I'm sure you almost started to say it, but everybody else is multiplication? Yeah. So it's multiplication. So what's actually happening is we have A, B, because A is being multiplied by B, plus, that, stays, that plus stays the same, plus A, C, Slater. Okay? Um, not that in depth, no. Yes, you did learn this last year. Yes. All right. You did learn it last year, but a lot of you had those summer sand cobwebs. So the expression, and I want you to write this verbatim, word for word. The expression, this thing, is said like this. A times the quantity B plus C. And there's also another way you can do it, which is A times the sum of B and C. Yes, sir? Smith math class. Mm -hmm. And also, it, this is how my website looks. I don't care. I just want, I just, if, you guys need, if you guys need help with something, I want to be there for you. Um, so when you go to the school website, you go to the website next to my name, this is what it looks like. You guys are seventh grade. Boom, there's yesterday's lesson. Here's the vocab from the other day's homework. You click on that, it'll download a, a, a Word file. Yeah. So, yeah, so you can go here, you can watch. And then seven plus two times three. What is the first thing I'm gonna It's eleven. Do? Yeah. So here's yeah, I have a lot of videos, but um So that's all the stuff from last year too, if you want to preview it next year. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, back in action. Uh that was the yeah, staff or students dodgeball, actually. Oh. Staff. <laughs> Restate using the distributive property. So I'm going to distribute, I'm going to zoom in here. We have 4x plus 3. The 4 times the quantity x plus 3, I need to distribute this 4 to both of those. Okay, you with me? I need to distribute 4 to both of those. So I do 4x plus 12 because I'm multiplying all those together. 4 times x is 4x and 3 times 4 is 12. Yes, Abby. So it's A times the sum of B and C. Okay. Hi. Yes. How do you draw that? Oh, it's just an O with a capital or a cursive F. It's just a cursive. When I was in middle school, we were required to write in cursive before they realized it was dead. I was required to write in cursive. Oh, I did it. Is that right? That's an F kind of yeah. Okay. So now look at this next one. This next one, the uh, the number is on the back side of the parentheses. They're trying to trick you a little bit by giving it to you a different look. That's still the same distribution. You still have to distribute this 2 that way. 
or by the uh, uh, commutative property of multiplication, you could also look at it as being done this way, but whatever. So we have 2 times 4x, which is, everyone? Beautiful. 2 times 9y is? Because I want to know. 18y. Yes, sir. So are we going to have to solve these questions? Or do we just have to rest? Um, we're going to get to uh, like terms here in a second. But yeah, there's going to be stuff like that on the homework. And you're going to have other ones too. All right, here we go. Practice. Practice? Use the distributive property to restate each of the following statements. So we are going to distribute these guys through. Um, yeah, we're going to have the distribute this 5 all the way through. It's going to be 5x plus 5y. And those are not like terms, so we can't make it simplified. Um, we are going to write Smith over both of these ones because that's what we do whenever we skip over stuff. I do it a repetition. Because if you can do A, you can do C. If you can do. Um, then we have D, which is going to come out to be 18 plus 6F. Nope. Just two. 18 plus 6F. Uh, no, you won't. You won't see that symbol for multiplication. Ah, ah, get in there. Thank you. An expression, an expression is said to be simplified it is said to be simplified when it has no like terms. No like terms. Alright, a like term, go ahead and write this here. are shared variables. Like terms are shared variables. For example, we have a like term here with M, like terms here with K, So we need to combine those two. We need to combine those like terms. Because in this situation, for example, one, we have 15 kayaks, a guy holding a number nine, and then five more kayaks. What do we have? No, you can't combine a, a, the, a guy holding a cardboard number nine you can't combine that with a kayak and make a a car kayak. Okay. So we have 21 kayaks plus nine. Shh, stop with the comments. Believe me, that's holding you back. You want to get through this, so you can get the homework and know what you're doing. Now we have stop tapping the chair. Now we have a combination of everything we've learned today. We have to use the distributive first. Then we combine the terms. Make sure that you do that in the right order. So we have one monkey plus five neurons plus 35 monkeys. We have a monkey, five on. N plus five? We'll call them, uh, what's, what's uh, N? Um, noses. noses, yes. Okay, we have one monkey, five noses, and 35 monkeys. Okay, so we have, is it 40 monkeys? Yes, it is. How can you make a nose into a monkey?
Now we have 36 monkeys. Shh, quiet, please. We have 36 monkeys and five noses. Okay? That does sound silly, but it just helps you remember that you can't have a uh, combination of a nose monkey. I'm going to pass out the homework, and you guys actually have eight minutes to start it, but I want you to finish these ones first. Um, students, if you're watching this again, go to my website and you can get the answers to these because um, I'm stopping the video. But kids in front of me, I'm going to write the answers down when I'm done getting my home or passing out the homework. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Keep looking good. Bye. Is Felicia watching? Who said that? Is Felicia watching? Hi, Felicia. Felicia? Felicia.